Hi there, my name is Jonathan and today I'm going to show you how to leverage Pinterest to drive free traffic to your Shopify store or your e-commerce store. Let's take a look. Okay, so I am in the Pinterest dashboard right here. As you can see here, I am uh, I'm running a store and this is basically in the online women's niche. So uh, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind when you're on Pinterest, right? So Pinterest is basically a search engine that you really want to leverage people's search terms and search intent to basically drive traffic from your infographics, from your pictures, uh, occasionally your video as well. So the great thing about Pinterest is that uh, all of these things here, all of these pins here, uh, can basically direct to a site. So for example, uh, this pin here, if I open it up, it will direct me to this site right here. It was the my dash video, yeah, basically this site. So every single pin, it's something that is uh, data that can be driven back to your website. So just keep in mind that you need to uh, make and post engaging pins uh, in your Pinterest page. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go into my uh, analytics portion. And uh, so I only started this store about a month ago, but the thing is I am driving traffic to my website and for free. So these are the stats, uh, the general overall stats as you can see. And this is really just over a month's worth and I wasn't really uh, active on Pinterest as well. The great thing about Pinterest is that if you post something, the post is just there for three to seven months, as opposed to Instagram, where it's only a few minutes where it gets its reach. Pinterest basically uh, allows the post to be recycled into other people's feed. So even though like three to seven months down the road, uh, you may have posted it, someone would still be able to see that in their feed. So I think that's very, very uh, important as well, because you really want to move away from um, uh, spending money on advertising, right? You want to collect your, your pixel data uh, first, and then you want to retarget everybody that uh, you have basically reached. So basically, Pinterest is very, very powerful. And in the sense that I only added these pins, I only added these photos into into my page, and that's kind of the only uh, the, the only downside to Pinterest, where it's at first it's very labor intensive. So as you quickly build up your audience, you'll be much, much easier. So as you can see here, um, although I'm not getting the clicks to uh, my website, right? Uh, that's because uh, my search terms here that are already optimized for uh, my keywords. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to find, um, basically how to find terms that are really high search volume such that you are able uh, to also get more clicks as well. So these are basically um, products that are suited for winter, right? So I put it, I put them into my uh, Pinterest profile three, uh, basically two to three months before the peak season comes. So when peak season comes, uh, Pinterest already knows that my keywords are in the database and basically uh, people are really searching for them. So they will generate much more clicks and uh, much more saves in the future. So in the process, I'm just gonna be consistent with posting and I'm just gonna let uh, the impressions run. So the great thing about it is that, as you can see here, okay, so I'm just gonna go into um, profile. Okay. All right. So as you can see here, my daily impressions, for this period, I was not even active at all, but I was still getting uh, a healthy amount of free traffic and uh, free impressions and basically um, think of it as a PP ad on Facebook. It's just getting your reach out uh, to as many people as possible. So even though I'm not getting any clicks or whatever, I'm, I'm still able to target these people, retarget these people using my Pinterest pixel in the future. And that is uh, incredibly uh, significant data that I can use at uh, basically free, free cost. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna go into people you reach. So as you can see here, um, although this is uh, September 16, now it's um, October 2nd, right? So I'm just gonna go back uh, 30 days just to show you I've, I've not been active at all. So at, at this point, I'm just gradually, I've been gradually adding and adding uh, a few more pins to my Pinterest profile. But then again, the growth is not exponential, but it's still steadily increasing. As you can see, I'm getting 3,000 monthly viewers per month. And those are people that you can retarget back. So for example, if it, it gradually grows, you can expect four to 5,000 or even uh, till 10,000 people that are, are viewing your profile every month. And that's very incredible data because you're not spending a single dollar on it. You're just putting in time. Maybe you go ask your VA or ask your staff to do something and just uh, add a few pins uh, to, the, to, to your profile every single day. Okay, so uh, that's basically Pinterest uh, analytics. Last one I want to show you is their new feature, which is audience insights, which really gives uh, a lot of data in the sense that you really understand your customers very well. And it's, uh, so, so I'll, I'll just let you see over here. So these are all the data that um, Pinterest allows you to see of who is interacting with your uh, pins basically. So I'm in a fashion niche, so I mean, of course it's fashion. And these are uh, the affinity scores. And uh, so basically, people who like women's fashion will generally also like these things. So this will really give you insight about uh, what type um, what type of audiences you may want to target. So for example here, uh, your gender here, right? 
uh, is definitely female and the age distribution who is um, responding well to your pins or whatever, you can use this data and bring it into uh, another advertising platform. So for example, um, I have, have this info on Pinterest. It's kind of my testing on Pinterest. And I know that because this responds well, uh, these pins respond well to this age group, I can go uh, target them on Facebook very effectively because I know it already responds well to the market. Okay, then there's also location as well as a device. So it's a, a very general audience insights. So that's how you basically leverage um, Pinterest uh, for free, tra free traffic uh, over time. So basically, how would you uh, go about doing this, right? So for example, if you were running a Shopify store, if you're a Shopify store, it's very easy. You can just uh, add it, uh, add Pinterest to one of your pins. But if you're not, you can add, uh, actually add rich pins uh, to your website. So uh, rich pins basically allow you to uh, show a product where, okay, I can't show you right now. Uh, but basically, when you press on the on your pin, you can basically see your price, your product description. You basically can buy within Pinterest itself. And uh, basically, to do this, you need to first add meta metadata to your content on your website. So, for example, your e-commerce product store has your prices, your title tag, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All, all the basic stuff, basically. So, if you want to add uh, your pins to become a rich pin, you can come in over here. Uh, it's called Rich Pin Validator. You can just search it up on Google. And then, so basically, I, I actually have a website that. Uh, I actually have a product, so I'm just gonna validate it. And so Pinterest will automatically run its algorithm and basically it'll pull out all the data, all the metadata from my product page, which I've already put in. So as you can see here, um, I put I put down the price, put down the currency, product name. Uh, yeah, so basically all of the information here will be uh, addressed and will be shown to whoever is seeing that pin in Pinterest. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see here, um, everything is synced up to my Shopify store, right? So if I open up one of these products, for example, immediately all of the information that is coming from my uh, Shopify store will already be in here. So it's incredibly easy, okay? So the last thing that I'd like to show you is how to basically uh, put in what types of products you will need to put on your Pinterest store so that you are exper ex ex experiencing exponential growth in the future and, and the, the way that you do that is by using Google Trends basically. So you type in Google Trends and so for example, if you want to add a few pins, because uh, Pinterest, you are using keywords, right? You're putting, it's basically a search engine. So you're putting in keywords to your pins that you're using and you're using Google Trends to see what type of pins are actually worthwhile. So for example, because I know in the December time, it's winter. So I'm putting in a lot of winter clothing. So I mean, obviously wool jacket would definitely show up in the Google Trends. There's a lot of more search volume that is happening in the Google Trends. And uh, yeah, basically a lot of search volume. So I know definitely, um, even though that the momentum for my pins, my impressions and analytics at this point is not as good as I want it to be, in the future, in the upcoming months, the thing is just gonna spike up, okay? So as you can see here, a uh, wool jacket uh, during the December period. Uh, let's see if it loads, yeah. So as you can see now, it's, it's still a rather 50, at the 50 mark. So eventually when November comes, I know my numbers are just gonna spike up and there's traffic coming to my, my website. So you just, Pinterest is a very, very safe tool and it's a free tool as well. So the only downside is there is manual labor involved. There's no automation software for posting at the moment for Pinterest. So that is something that you just need to uh, take note and prioritize uh, your time in. All right, that's about it for this Pinterest tutorial and basically how to leverage Pinterest to get free traffic for your website so that you're able to reduce your advertising costs and remember to always retarget your audiences. All right, that's about it for this video. Feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.